welcome back everybody I was looking at new planners um, for this school year and after I ordered my teacher planner for the fall I was like nope I'm good I'm done I'm gonna use something I have at home and um, I was actually gonna use a classic size happy planner and for the first time in forever I was going to try the horizontal setup and then these babies came out. Um, I have always preferred the A5 size to seven by nine or to, you know, a big size eight and a half by 11 planner. And when Erin Condren released the A5 size life planner, I tried to resist until last week and then I changed my mind. And so <laughs> here it is. This is the Erin Condren A5 Life Planner, and I ordered it in a 12-month version to start with July of 2021 and go through June of 2022 so that, um, because my brain works on an academic year as a teacher, so here it is. So I thought I would show you um, what it looks like, what comes inside, and compare it in size to some other Erin Condren products and um, one other product that I think is somewhat similar that I've used in the past. And um, I'm doing this because I couldn't find a lot of videos about this specific planner on YouTube um, when I was looking to see if I wanted to buy one. I don't think this was a really popular option that um, they sent to the PR people and so there really wasn't um, much to look at for these. And even those people who did get it, um, at least in the videos I could find, um, which were very few, um, kind of glossed through it very quickly. So I wanted to take my time um, and show it to you in case you haven't bought a new planner for the academic year or are looking to buy for 2022. Um, this might be a great option for you. I chose the A5 size because I want to be able to carry it in my bag or my purse. Um, just in comparison, here is an Erin Condren notebook in the full 7x9 size. It's not a huge difference. You'll see here if I line them up as close as I can. Um, but there is definitely about an inch of space both at the side and at the top. So yes, it makes a difference um, when you're carrying a smaller bag. It is a difference. Um, and so I wanted to show you what was inside here. Um, I did not get it personalized. I plan to put something on it um, with some vinyl that I'm going to cut out with my silhouette. Um, I just didn't like the particular font that was available on this cover, but I love the mid-century circles design. I did actually also order the teacher planner in the mid-century circles um, design this year in the binder option to try that out. And I actually have a life planner from whenever the first release of Mid-Century Circles was um, in the neutral. And I do really like the colorful. I would love to have seen a neutral option in MCC this year, but we take what we can get, right? So here's the A5. This is only available in a horizontal layout um, in this size and this pattern. Um, I do love that these are interchangeable covers. Now, they don't have any available yet that you can order, but they are already cut, so you could pull them off. It still has the write-on surface on the inside with the lines, which is really nice. It did come with um, the little welcome, some compliment cards in mid-century circles in the flora pattern, and in the new Just My Type. So those are really cute. I will definitely save those and use those for something. Um, it also came with my favorite, I love these, um, two of the little sticky um, gift labels in MCC and in just their classic asterisk design. And then um, the 20% off coupons that come with the life planners. The vellum here is, um, it's actually not plain. It's very hard to see, um, but it is, there is a slight imprint 
of the mid-century circles design. I don't know how it is on the flora. I was watching some videos earlier today and, and noticed everybody saying it was plain, and I'm not sure if those were just the media um, released ones or not. But I can actually see, I'm just noticed, this is the first time I've noticed this, um, that there is, no, you know what? It's from the next page. This is plain, this is plain vellum. Absolutely plain vellum, I was wrong. Um, and so you know, I might take some washi or something in the MCC design and add that to here. Um, and then there's the nameplate page, which I will add my name with um, you know, vinyl sticker probably. Then you've got your quote page inside. And then it turns right to your um, year at a glance. So it goes from July of 2021 to December of 2022. Um, I will probably do the color-coded dot thing that everybody likes to do on these pages um, with our school schedule and any other major events and days off um, so that I have that with me when making appointments and things like that. Then it's got the 12 boxes here. Now this is color-coded to go from January to December. Um, like I said, I'm a teacher, I think with my teacher brain. And so I ordered a planner that goes from July to June. Um, and this would be the July side here and then to June here. Um, I'm not sure how I'm going to use these pages yet, if I might flip the months around or anything like that. So we'll see. Then you've got a blank page and a quote page, which is also your divider for the month. You've got your monthly page, and it's really not much different in size from the seven by nine. These are larger boxes than you've had like in the Erin Condren Petite Planners, which is good. Um, I tried using the Petite Planner. It was just too small for me. I write too big. Um, but I have had success with the A5 size in the past, so I think this will be okay. Um, the one thing many people have noticed as they've started to decorate their planners for the month is that these new designs go all the way to the edge. So unless you have a new sticker kit designed for these planners, um, you may have to cover with some washi or some whiteout if you are going to use sticker kits in these planners. So that's something to think about. It's still got the note section. It's a little tiny um, compared to the seven by nine, but it would still work. I tend to put most of my information on the monthly spread, so not a big deal. I have not had an Erin Condren planner since they have instituted this section. So that you have after the monthly calendar, you have a blank page. I'm trying to decide if I want to use it for bills for the month or and expenses or if I want to use it for maybe online purchases I'm waiting for or something like that. Um, and you've also got this whole dashboard page over here which again, I am not sure what I want to put all of there. Maybe some to-dos for the month somewhere on these pages um, that just have to be done within that month of July. I'm not exactly sure. <laughs> so we'll see how I wind up. I'll probably be playing with that for a couple of months before I figure it out. The only thing I wish I could have, and I, I don't think I'm the first person that said this, is to have a colorful base, monthly view, tabs, but have a neutral weekly view. Sure, I could get that if I wanted to buy two planners and stick them all together and have really thick pages and glue them and all of that. I don't wanna deal with that. I'm trying to have a planner that will fit in a bag. Um, so colorful it is. So you've got the first three days of June here in the June color. And then once July started last week, um, you've got the July color. And so your next weeks will all be in that color. And this is very similar to the traditional horizontal layout. It's just obviously um, not as wide. So, and I believe these boxes are smaller. I don't have, these might be close to a full box. Um, but these actually will fit, they're a little wider. Um, let's try taking one off and see. They're gonna be a little wider in size but they still fit in there pretty nicely, right? So if you wanted to lay some things out ahead of time, you could use your sticky notes and they're not too big of a hindrance. 
So I think these are about the same size as a full box, but um, not as wide as a full box. And then you've got your area for notes for the week down here. I will probably make some kind of um, tab, plastic tab that I can put in there as kind of a dashboard um, to keep that information on though, because I tend to have the same stuff from week to week. Then you go to the next month and you get the same kind of thing, kind of flip through the months here for you. September in the purple color, October in the orange color. I really love the traditional Erin Condren colors. I think the flora colors are gorgeous, um, but I'm not really into pastels. I'm a brighter, brighter person, so it is what it is. I wish November was not blue, though. I think that's kind of random, honestly, but that's okay. December in the green. January, I love this January blue. The magenta-ish for February, lighter green for March. I'm a big fan of this violet color for April. I do like that one. The peach in May, which I know some people really despise. It's not so bad. Um, and the kind of teal color for June is pretty. And then it goes to notes. So there is a notes section in this planner. So you have the last day of June, or if you get a yearly planner, it's going to be the last day of De or last week of December, maybe a little bit of January. Um, and then it goes to a blank page, your notes tab down here, and you've got an additional one, two, three, four notes pages in here. There was no option to add any, um, but you could order this planner in an 18 month version. Then you've got a let's keep in touch page. I will probably use this for some logins for different um, websites that, you know, if somebody got into like my Gap website, it would not be, you know, or something like that, it would not be a big deal. Um, just because I tend to carry those around with me. So I have them on hand. So that's the contacts page. And then you do still have this layout, just again, shrunken and smaller um, for the following year of 2023. Now I'm only going through June of 2022. So one thing I might use my notes pages for, especially this first page after that last weekly view is a like June to December or July to December. Um, as we start getting into the school year, more things will come up for what's happening the following beginning of the school year. So I might wanna keep track of some of that until I get my new planner, my next new planner, should say. Your contacts, your 2023, you've got your closing page, and then you do have two pages of stickers which match with the ones I believe that come in the A5 agenda. I'm not really a fan. I don't love metallic stickers. Um, the Erin Condren stickers are great quality, but I don't like the metallics necessarily. And they're just gold and white, so not a lot of excitement here. I would have preferred a sheet of, you know, the colorful labels or even like birthday and event stickers and things like that. So that's a little disappointing. Um, there is a small keep it together folder back here with the list of holidays that are not like major holidays that everybody celebrates, but they're things like International Day of Peace, Grandparents Day, so for those people who want to observe these holidays and have them in their calendar, they can add those. They're on little stickers. Um, just And then the date is there so you can kind of take it off and put it in that spot and you have the date so you know where it belongs kind of thing. Um, so for those of you who want to use those, they are there for you. I believe that's coming in the larger planners as well. And then it did come with a perpetual calendar. Again, this is not something I've ever used before. I have some of them already. Um, it's nice and neutral though, so if I could think of a way to use it, I might do that. Um, oh, does it have contacts in here too? Oh, it does have holidays and dates. And then it has oh, some important contacts. So that might be useful for something. And passwords. Oh, password page. Maybe I will use that password page. We'll see. Um, and then the back cover also has the right on surface and would snap off if I wanted it to. 
So now to compare this in size to a couple of other things I showed you at the beginning. This is a 7x9 Erin Condren notebook. Um, I do have a life planner downstairs, but I didn't bring that up. So notebook um, with the planner on top. You can kind of see there's definitely some space on the side there as well as on the top. Not quite an inch, maybe three quarters or so, or half an inch, um, but enough that it, it makes a big enough difference in your bag. Um, I also have here a planny pack, um, the ones that attach to your planner. Still small enough to fit around the planner, so I could totally um, put this on my planner still and carry it in my purse. That's kind of nice. I like that. Get it on my planner. There we go. <laughs> Fits nicely on there, just fine, no problems. And it's not any larger than the planner, so that's kind of perfect, really. Then I've got a Erin um, Condren ruler from a seven by nine planner. I don't even know. Are they still giving these out? I have no idea. Um, unfortunately, this would be a little large to fit in this planner. So if I snap it in, give you an idea here. It's going to go past the bottom of your planner. Um, the top is fine, obviously. It's going to go past the bottom. Now, if you don't mind that, that's fine. Um, I have seen some people trimming them down to like the 8-inch mark or so, just so that it's not sticking out the bottom. So I might try doing that since, you know, we all have a lot of extras of those, right? The next thing I have here is a Erin Condren um, Thin Dashboard. Let's see how this fits. Probably similar to the ruler. So this one again does go past the bottom. That one I don't know if I'd want it to stick out mostly because I'd be a little more concerned about getting it bent and broken. Um, so I might just make my own dashboard instead in a smaller size um, and save this for my teacher planner. However, what you could use in here, they have these smaller snap-in bookmarks. This is one of them. Um, I don't know that they still sell this one, but this is a smaller snap-in bookmark that you could put in. This will fit in there just fine, obviously. So, And those come in packs of three um, from the Erin Condren site. So you could you know, do your month, your week, and your notes, or whatever you want to um, mark off. I also have the snap in sticky notes um, these are going to be a little bit longer than your planner so you're probably not going to want to put them in that way although i have seen some people taking these apart moving um, them cutting the bottom off right and then putting in you could put them in with a coil clip or if you're using an, a, a ring agenda you could punch this and this does fit in that way just fine so I might try doing that myself. And then you've got the little tab on top as well. So that's kind of nice. I've also got here a 7x9 folio. I was a little worried about having something to carry this in um, that would still fit in my bag. This will fit in my bag. It's a little large. Um, so I want to I want to find something a little smaller, a pouch or something. I might make something myself. Um, but a neoprene like this, I would love to see them make one in an A5 size to fit this. But it's really, again, not that much bigger. And, you know, once you have closed it up, it, it actually fits kind of nicely. It doesn't wiggle around a lot. Um, it's pretty close in size to the 7 by 9 again, just that half inch or so of difference. The last thing I have here is a planner I've used in the past. So I've got the A5 Erin Condren here. And then here I've got an A5, I think this is an ARC, no, a tool planner um, from Staples or Office Max or one of those guys, one of those office stores. I've used both ARC and tool in the past, um, and it is very similar in size. This happens to have expander discs on it because I had a lot of stuff in here. Um, it's a little bigger with that large cover on it, um, but other than that, they are very close in size. I will probably add a pen loop, um, and I'm hoping they will come out with some other interchangeable covers. Um, I might try also cutting down some of the 7x9 covers I have. Since I don't currently have a 7x9 um, book that I'll be using this year, at least 
that's the plan. So again, this is the Erin Condren um, A5 horizontal layout um, new planner for the new release this year. And the only things I'm hoping to see um, with something like this in the future is an option to have, and I, I know this is a lot of work, um, I get it, um, colorful months with neutral weeks. I would love to see this be black and white um, so that, you know, when you put your stickers down, or even if you don't want to put a lot of stickers down, you don't have to look at these combined colors at the beginnings and ends of months um, and, and that kind of thing. It's not the worst thing ever, but I would love to see a neutral option. Um, the other thing I'd like to see is the ability to order inserts um, with no punches. So even right now, you can't order the A5 Agenda inserts on their own. You have to buy the whole package with the um, Ring Agenda. And I would love to purchase it and punch it for discs. The six holes would not bother me a big deal, but obviously these holes are a lot to deal with. Um, I have taken them apart and covered them in washi and repunched before, so I could certainly do that again um, if I decide the coil doesn't work for me. But um, I think I'll just probably make it work and uh, be able to use the covers and everything. So we'll see what we get in future releases. Um, if you are interested in purchasing this item, I will link my affiliate link down below if you'd like to go that way, go that route. And um, let me know if you have any questions or would like to see a video on anything else specific. Hopefully I'll be able to start doing some plan with me's in here. Um, and I will link my Instagram and um, my Erin Condren um, link below if you want to check those out. So feel free to comment to let me know what planners you got or what you're considering getting um, for the fall or for 2022. Have a great day. Bye.